It's Ty, Kelly, and Chuck. If only you could be in the studio for our warm-ups before we turn the mic on. Oh, huh? man, it feels so good. They're vocal warm-ups. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> There's certain experiences that will bond you, and I believe what we just did off the air all together was a bonding experience. Sure. Mm-hmm. Another one that I've heard of and I've never been invited to, nail salon. Just go hang out with your girls at the nail salon. Oh, it's so oh, great. I've, I've gone with my girl plenty of times. It's fun. Let's do it, Chuck. Plan something. Send me an Evite. Facebook <laughs> calendar message. Pal's pamper night. I would go. So apparently at a Walmart in Flint the other day, something kind of tragic turned into something beautiful and ended in a friendship. There's a nail salon inside the Walmart and a woman went in to get her nails done. Yeah. Walks into the Walmart and she wants to get her nails done. Her name is Angela. She has cerebral palsy in her hand shake. Yeah. And when she gets into the salon, the woman at the salon is like, I'm not going to do your nails. Your hands are shaking. I'm not going to do it. No way. It, it handled it really poorly from what everybody's saying. So a Walmart employee sees this. Her name's Ebony. She steps in. She's like, you shouldn't be treated that way. And she asks Angela if she still wants to do her nails. She says, yes. They pick out a color. She paints them. Angela's hands shake a little, but the nails turn out pretty well. Now they're besties and they're planning a dinner together. That's pretty nice. Wow. Does that that's really happen? That's like nail? a sweetest thing. That's just mid- Midwest nice. It's called being a good person. That other lady sucks, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, no, she needs to go. You suck.